Hello Aries and welcome to August 2020 love reading and what other whatever other messages come in for uh, the month. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for being here. All right. So, let's see what's going on here. What are the messages for Aries? Well, we got the 10 of wands. So August, um, well, it's starting off with a bit of stress here. You've got the High Priestess. So I feel that a lot of you Aries are knowledgeable on how to uh, keep this, um, try to keep this stress under control here. Uh, I feel a lot of you are going through some disappointments also regarding something that you were hoping for. Um, either you walked away from this person or this person has walked away from you. I think that you are proud of yourself for doing this. Um, at least the Aries that walked away from this their their uh, relationship because you felt you were not um how do we want to put it i don't want to say that you felt that you weren't loved but i feel like you just didn't have a match with this person but also, too, here with the Seven of Cups, I feel like this was your wake-up call. And the reason I say the wake-up call is I feel like you were dreaming that this relationship could possibly be something different than what it really was or really is. What's good about this row here is the High Priestess. It's the High Priestess that's helping you make sound judgment. That's really helping you use your um, common sense and your intuition. Let me move these cards over. I can't measure with my phone uh, like I do with my iPad, so... Um, yeah, I do. I really do feel that uh, I'm feeling this is a good decision that you made. But if the roles are reversed here and somebody has walked away from you, I, I still feel that you, some of you are, are kind of feeling stuck. Like the Ten of Wands is really the highest card that you can get in regards to stress. But I feel like that this stress releases itself it releases itself and you realize that this is not a good direction for you. This is not a healthy way for you to go. And it's caused way too much stress on you in this relationship. So even if somebody had walked away from you, for example, I feel like you, you will deal with this. Um, I also get that some of you we're in a relationship or in a relationship that really has lack of support. Uh, to me, it's, it's, it could have something to do with a Capricorn because we've got Capricorn here. And I mean, really seriously, this person is so immature. They, they just need to grow up. The two of wands shows a mature individual, but when I get it next to the devil card, um, I just feel like this person is uh, creates their own drama, their own downfall. And unfortunately, though, I feel some of you Aries take that upon yourself as if it's your uh, doing. Almost kind of like a self-punishment. Now, the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands tells me that you... Uh, First of all, Aries, you are a very understanding person. Uh, you're generous at heart. Uh, you take to, especially I feel like uh, if your moon is a water sign, 
or an earth sign. But I, but I do feel that you, and it's not against anybody who has a fire uh, or an air moon. It's just something I'm feeling uh, a message specifically for those uh, Aries who have water moon. But here I'm getting that you're really a very generous person. You give, um, you give to others all the time, sometimes before yourself. Now, some of you might have a Capricorn uh, child uh, that just came in here. And uh, I'm specifically saying Capricorn on this because that's the message that Spirit's given me. I feel like you've done a lot for your child. And Spirit is saying that, it's, that, he, that he or she is maturing, but you need to give more space for that maturity to continue to grow. Now, um, I, I feel that what I'm looking here in this departure is you wanted more of, um, I feel like you wanted more compassion. I feel like you wanted more understanding and that you weren't getting all of this. Uh, also, too, I feel like you were suspicious, maybe, of your relationship with this person. Now, some of you might actually be married still to somebody like this. And I just feel like that you're going to come to a decision again, looking at the Eight of Cups, looking at the Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, um, and the Devil card at this moment, that you will... Um, make a decision coming up uh, either in August or you will be thinking about it in August about making those changes, especially now here looking at the Eight of Wands in reverse. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Here with the Knight of Wands, which also deals with a fire sign, the Queen of Wands, I'm looking at you being Aries, either male or female. Um... The Knight of Wands also to the, I feel like some of you in August will be taking a, a, maybe a short trip, a weekend trip, a long weekend. Uh, it's possible even a week. Um, I feel that you won't go too far from home, that you will stay closer to home than, than traveling really far away. Um, I'm gonna give it probably maybe eight to 10 hours the max by car maybe two to three hours by plane if you decide to fly and um actually i feel like you can have a good time but i do feel like some of you who are on this trip though will be doing if you go alone will be doing a lot of thinking about um you know where you're at and where you really want to be and what it is that you really want in your life when it comes to love We've got the King of Wands too. So here we got another fire sign. Um, I feel this person wants to be honest with you. Um, I feel like they're very conscientious. Uh, perhaps they were a friend first, or maybe this is a friend that you're not seeing that has feelings for you. But I also feel like that this person um, this could be your spouse, or this could be someone you're involved with that is married, um, you know, married to someone else. You've got the Ace of Cups here. Uh, so this, this to me looks like it can, can, can continue to grow. However, here with the Eight of Wands, we've got some, uh, maybe some delays or stagnation, you know, energy isn't working out as, as well as you would like. Um, I do feel like there might be some, uh, jealousy or a, um, disappointment in how things transpire through August, but don't hold on to that disappointment because here you've got the nine of cups. Okay. So nine of cups is, is an excellent card for, uh, you know, 
things that you want to happen. And, um, you know, some of you, I feel that are single, you want to start something with somebody. And you've got cards here that do say that you could have, uh, you could meet someone, or you could have a good relationship going on uh, with somebody new. And also, I feel that relationships that uh, were kind of at a standstill or that weren't flowing as well as you would like it to, to flow, um, I'm getting that uh, the energy will flow better for you in August. Of course, it's not going to be that way for everybody, but for you, Aries, it looks like, you know, the energy is going to flow here. Now, we've got the Justice card. I think what the most important thing here, Aries, is continuing to have good intentions through the month of August in regards to your love life, in regards to love in general. And... um I'm getting something here with advice. Okay, wait, I need to pull another card on this. Okay, we've got the tower. So, I feel here that don't try to ask for too much in your relationship because sometimes when we can ask for so much, then we're disappointed with the ones that we meet or people can't, uh, meet that expectation. So what I'm getting here is there is a completeness in you in the month of August because there have been sudden changes in your life and there are more changes coming for you in August. But I don't, the way the cards are spread, I don't feel it's bad. Actually, I pulled an extra card of you, which is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups say this is an invitation this is an opportunity that may come about in the month of august for you in regards to love um you know and uh i also feel like it's a month that uh you're quite busy uh the ones here that are working are quite busy with uh new proposals i, I just sense that something new is arriving in your life that is actually good opportunities open opportunities for you but with the falling tower which is called in this deck but it's the tower I feel too that you are going to put something to to rest meaning that maybe this was a long uh relationship or it's a past relationship that keeps coming back and I feel like you're going to end that that for good Okay, I, so for some reason I'm getting that even though you walked away or they walked away, maybe you're still hoping things will change or they're hoping things will change, but I really feel like you're just going to put an end to this completely. Now, there may be some setbacks And, you know, it's next to the Justice card. So I feel like there could be setbacks with some relationships. But I like the fact that this reading ends with the Knight of Cups. And um, I feel like these opportunities could go well because you've got the Knight of Wands. You've got the King of Wands. You've got the Queen of Wands. Even the Capricorn. Um, yeah, so the month is going to go by fast. <laughs> can't believe it's almost the end of summer here, but the month is going to, um, it's going to go fast. And I'm really sensing too that you need to keep a balance about how you speak to others and how you allow others to speak to you. Um, and then I'm just listening to the messages right now because I'm not reading the cards anymore. I'm just hearing any other messages that come in. I, I do feel like some of you will be frustrated financially in the month of August. Some of you who have jobs right now, I feel like you'll still be okay. I actually feel that there might be a few things you might be extra busy on that you weren't expecting. But for the ones who are unemployed, I do sense that 
um, this is going to be a bit of a struggle month for you. Um, maybe because you can't collect unemployment anymore, or maybe it's because you're still looking for something and it's not coming up. Uh, what I'm what I'm getting here from Spirit is to uh, perhaps check with uh, companies like Upwork.com or some of these other ones where you can do some contractual work, whether it be virtual assistant or um, you might be good at uh, CRM or all these different kind of uh, you know skills that you have that contractors who are not looking to put somebody on full-time, I know that might mean you're not going to get any insurance, but you'll have some money coming in. All right, I just needed to add that. That that was coming through. Okay. And the month, like I said, is going fast. So there will be some opportunities for love, new love, but you have to make sure that you are open to this and that you look quickly because I feel like the energy is speeding by. Uh, it's been speeding by, but I really feel like it's going to speed by in August. Um, and so that's about, um, that's about just being alert and awakened to whatever you possibly can that comes by. Don't, don't sleep. <laughs> I don't literally mean sleep, but don't sleep and let things pass you by. I also feel like you should be a little bit risky. Some of you are nitpicking on yourself. And I feel like by nitpicking on yourself, you're just making your confidence lower and lower. Um, I read something. I can't remember who this was by. Um, I feel it's somebody that was in the movie Star Wars. Uh, but her name's not coming to me right now. But she said... It's okay to be afraid, but don't let fear stop you. Even if you are afraid, just keep going through the fear, okay? Because your confidence is just going to get higher and higher as you go. Um, experience is our best teacher here. And you've got Mars and Aries that goes all the way through the end of December. So use that energy, get going. <laughs> you know, that's Mars and Aries. That's good. That's good for you. All right. So I'm going to leave you with this reading. Thank you again. Lots of love and blessings.